All right, so I just left the nice comfort of the city of Helen. It was a wonderful zero day. It was definitely needed. I was able to relax and heal my ankle a little bit and knee, right knee was giving me a little bit of trouble by the time I got off trail. But now I unfortunately have to go back into the wilderness. This section, apparently this next 17 miles is gonna be the toughest of all of Georgia. So not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to almost being in North Carolina. It's gonna be exciting to knock out my first state. All right, so I'm getting started here today at about 10.30 in the morning, so a little bit of a late start, but it was worth it. was able to have some breakfast at the hotel, and I just took my time getting packed and ready to go here in the morning. So the plan is today to get to Addis Gap, which is about 11 miles. There is a shelter called Trey Mountain Shelter that is a little bit shorter, but it's only maybe seven miles, and I do feel like, you know, I've got the energy in me to push to 11. I'm going to take it a little slow. I'll probably be getting into camp kind of late, but it should be really nice weather today outside this little bit of a sprinkle here this morning. So I'm at the top of Trey Mountain. Uh, it was a little tough getting up here, not terrible, but uh, probably gonna go another six miles to get to Addis Gap, depending on the weather. It's looking like there's some clouds rolling in, but uh, so far it's been a nice day. It's about 2.30, actually only 1.45, so still got quite a few more hours before it starts to get dark. So shouldn't have any problem with getting to Addis Gap here by the end of today. All right, just ran into some folks that I had met on the first day, actually. And uh, unfortunately, I found out that one of the buddies that I met that day, uh, he is actually having to take some days off trail. He's having some really bad foot and knee pain. And so hoping that he is able to get back on trail and finish it. But it's, uh, it's rough to have that much trouble just a few days into the hike. So hopefully he will be able to be back on trail here soon. The other news, I think I've got a trail name finally. So... Uh, so far, you know, it's been a week on trail and after introducing myself as named Matthew, that I'm from Austin, that I went to the University of Texas, I'm a Longhorn, uh, a lot of folks, now two or three different groups actually, have begun calling me McConaughey. So I think that is what I'm going to embrace early on. It's a good name. It's one of my heroes and uh, it's also good because that way my name isn't made from something embarrassing that I did. It's been a little bit strange uh, introducing myself as that, but it's kind of fun to get into it. Everyone's, I'd say about half the folks that I come across so far, I'll have a trail name. And so it is, you know, it's easier to remember people's names by that. Uh, you know, there's so many Johns, there's so many Joes, there's so many Samanthas, you know, it all starts merging together, but usually you can associate that, that name, the trail name with something that they did or something that they, you know, look like or wear or whatever it is much easier to remember those trail names rather than their actual first name. All right, so today has definitely been tough. Uh, it's a lot of elevation change. Uh, I was warned that this was going to be a very difficult stretch, and so I've only got about two more miles until I get to Addis Gap, which will make it about an 11, 11 half day, mile a day, and so I am going to be absolutely beat by the time I get there. So basically hiking from 10.30 to about five o'clock, but saw a couple of section hikers, little day hikers that were out here. So it must be kind of a popular little spot to go hiking. All right, made it to Addis Gap. You know, I was actually kind of surprised here. I was expecting a lot more folks to be here. Apparently I am the first or the only one. Well, at least it'll be a nice quiet night's sleep. All right, so it's about 9 in the morning, and I am getting back on the trail here today. A little bit of a late start, but I had a wonderful night's sleep. The weather was very nice. Finally, the first day on trail when it wasn't extremely cold or raining. And I also met a really wonderful man. His name was Pastor John. Uh, I thought I was going to be the only one at camp, and he rolled in right as soon as I was starting to cook some dinner. We had a really good long chat. He is 80 years old and he started hiking when he was in his 60s so it definitely goes to show that you can start doing this at any time of your life and it's really awesome to see him continuing to hike uh he was some basically just doing a little bit of a section hike but he said that he has basically uh hiked the entirety of the trail twice now through section hikes over the course of about four years which i find to be 
very incredible. He said he's a little slower now, but that's about it, that he can still pretty much do everything he needs to. So let that be a lesson to us all that it doesn't matter how old you are, you can always get out there and start hiking. The plan for today, I'm going to hike about 10 miles to Plum Orchard Shelter. I'm going to try to take today very, very easy. My left ankle and my right knee have been giving me some trouble. So yesterday, as I was rolling into camp, I was having a lot, of, a lot of pain there. So I'm going to try to take today easy. That way, I kind of allow it to rest a little bit more. So let's see uh, how it feels at the end of today. It's a little chilly here today, but as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. You can just kind of see behind me here. Amazing views as always. So that always gives me a little bit of extra motivation to keep on going. You know, it's kind of nice doing these little videos because it kind of gives me something to do while I'm out here hiking. As much as I enjoy hiking when you're doing it for 10, 12 hours a day, every day, it definitely gets a little monotonous there. So this is a nice little break. It gives me something to do other than just keep on stepping forward. So this is the top of Kelly Knob. So I've had my first little bit of gear failure. <clears throat> my sleeping pad, the Uber Light, it's kind of been known to have some failure at the nozzle piece where it actually does some leaking. And so unfortunately I have fallen victim to that. And last night had to reinflate my sleeping pad probably about three or four times, which was very annoying. Luckily it wasn't too cold. So the worst thing that I was having to deal with was just a little bit of discomfort as I would sink into the ground, but I'm going to try to get out to the outfitter in Franklin, see if I can get a new pad and mail back the Uber light to Thermarest. So we'll see what happens. I've heard that they've corrected the problem with the valve. So hopefully the new one that I get won't have that issue. All right, this is Dick's Creek Gap. Bit of a sketchy road here. I'm currently here at Dick's Creek Gap, and I got all this to go. So I've been going quite a bit slower today, and it is definitely helping my legs. My left ankle hasn't had almost any pain in it today. My right knee is have a got a, it's got a little bit of pain only when I'm going downhill though. So I am hopeful that uh, if I just keep it slow in the next few days, my leg muscles and tendons and everything will start building up and I can then resume back to my normal mileage. Right now I'm trying to keep it right at or below 10 miles where before I was pushing sometimes between 12 to 15, but I was going fast though. I was getting into camp about three o'clock. Right now I'm, in no rush. I don't care if I get in at three o'clock or five o'clock or six o'clock, as long as I'm in before sundown. So hopefully if I do this the next few days, it's just take a little bit easier. We're getting to Franklin and I'll be back in good shape. All right, I'm getting really close to the Plum Orchard Shelter, only about a mile left and it's all downhill luckily. Uh, pretty uneventful day. My ankle is actually feeling pretty good. A little bit of pain in my right knee whenever I was going downhill. So uh, hopefully I won't have too much tomorrow. I'll be able to give it some time to rest. Uh, but yeah, it was a nice day, a little hot, but that's actually been a little welcome since it's been freezing cold the past few days. But definitely caused a little bit more sweating than normal but for that I was used to on the trail but should be a nice time to relax at the shelter I should be getting in probably at about 3 30 so plenty of time to relax in the evening <laughs> 